So uh, one of my favorite memories of the season was uh, when we were scrimmaging. Uh, we were scrimmaging the seniors and we went 3-0 and uh, that felt pretty good. Um, I think it was just, just the ability to scrimmage with them and just get the experience. I think it was just <laughs> being able to yeah, just play against them and get competitive and that was really fun. My favorite memory from the season was definitely senior night, just because the six of us guys who've been playing together for years um, were able to finish off our career with a home win in front of our fans and um, just able to celebrate with the team and go out uh, with a fun one. Ooh. Okay, my favorite memory is definitely the Grace Christian game, the first one. We, I know we lost, but. Uh, it was just when everyone was cheering. The other team was cheering, we were cheering. Jim is small, but it was so loud. Everyone was so excited. It's definitely my favorite memory. My favorite memory of the season was the second Christchurch game. We won it and was able to get rid of our losing streak, but one of the play during the game, Timothy poked the ball out, and then I got the ball, went down, made a layup, and then came down, stole the ball from behind the guy and dribble through most of their players and then got fouled and fouled the guy out. So that was my favorite memory of the season. My favorite memory from the season would be the Walsingham game. Um, we had just lost to them in soccer and that was a tough loss because it ended our season. But we came to their place, it was a packed crowd, and, and we got it done. We played hard and we came out on top. And in that game, I remember Chandler hit a step back three in this kid's face and it was glorious. Uh, one thing I learned from this season, one take, one takeaway, is um, is um, always, you know, give your best, um, even if you're down, you know, always, always keep trying because that's gonna make you better, and um, and yeah, a good season. I think one of the biggest takeaways for me was probably the camaraderie from the team. You know, we, we were you know, on a nine game losing streak, but we were able to stick together and eventually pull out a couple wins before the state tournament. So just being able to like, be able to talk and be open and communicate with your team is a, is a big part on and off the court, so. Um, I think a takeaway I had from the season was to always keep my head up, because we went through like a really tough losing streak and uh, I wanted to just keep my head up and, and keep playing as hard as I could, even, even no matter the outcome, so, yeah. My biggest takeaway from this season is learning how to lose well. Um, it's very hard when you lose and you keep losing and you think, oh, I'm just gonna stay down here. But with Coach Bacon's advice and with, I guess, the entire team bonding with each other, we learned to not just stay in our losses, uh, we learn to keep on moving, keep on fighting, and striving for victory. I think the biggest thing I've learned from Coach Bacon is just uh, work ethic. And just from his coaching style and his example um, with, I mean, he, being, he coaches a bunch of different teams and he has his job and he's a husband and uh, a father of three and he still manages to fit us in his schedule. And, and not to mention the Spartan races too. And so just work, I think. So to describe Coach Bacon, uh, this is my first year back in basketball uh, since seventh grade. And I don't think I could have gotten a better coach. Um, he was just really, really smart about the game in general. He knew what the players needed and he knew how to coordinate everything and he was able to figure out things and play people's strengths which really helped us but uh for me what stood out the most is when we were playing games that were rough stuff were getting a little intense um but he'd still joke around with the refs like he, he'd throw a little joke in every now and then kind of kind of play with it stay light even when it was getting heavy and that that really impacted me because it was just like it, it was showing that even in the face of uh, like fear and anxiety and just uh, 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 opposition, he was able to just make light of it and stick with it. 
And I'd say the most valuable lesson I learned from Coach Bacon this year is probably to give 100% uh, on and off the court, whether it's in the classroom or how you interact with others, just to always like lead respectfully and in the character of God. And that's all included in giving 100%. Describe Coach Bacon as persevering. I think it's so cool to always watch him be able to get his hype, get us ready for the game, but then also be so serious and hardworking during practice and during games while coaching. Um, and not playing this season, I learned so much more about his actual um, basketball mind and just how what a great man he is and a role model for us. One piece of advice I give to younger players is that talent means nothing if you're not going to put in the work. You can be a really talented player and not have um, any work, eth work ethic and that won't translate on the court. So the hardworking players are going to get playing time and if you work hard and try to grow in what you know what you can do well, then you're going to um, see results on the court. A piece of advice I would give to younger players is to give 100% all the time. You never know when you're not going to be able to play again as we learned with Malcolm this season. And then we're all done. We've played all our last game. So I would just say give 100% all the time. I think a piece of advice for the younger students and younger players is to work hard. I'm going to shout out Chippy for this one. He was a, a hard worker. He might have not been the best player on the team, but he worked his butt off. And, you know, he became a better player by the end of the season. So. A piece of advice I would have for younger players is to be professional on and off the court. I think it's so important how you carry yourself at school and around your friends is going to help. Going to be how you carry yourself on the court. Um, I think it's really helped me just to be able to engage in school during the day and then take that engaged mindset from school into practice or games, and that's just been helpful for me. So. My advice for the younger players is never quit. No matter what the circumstances, no matter how many points you're down, do not quit. Kansas came back uh, last year in the finals down 15 at halftime against UNC. You're gonna have games where you're not playing well at certain points, but you can always come back and you should always strive to fight your way back into the fight uh, for the glory of God and for your teammates. Doesn't matter how many points you're down by, go hard on every single play because you don't know when you're not gonna be able to play anymore. Well, with any sport, you get out what you put in. The more effort you put in, the more hard work you put in, the more skill you will reap. But basketball is also a team sport. So the more work you put in, yes, the more skill you will receive, but also the more benefits your team will receive. The harder you work, the better your team will do. So work hard.
Hello everyone, Coach Bacon here, and I am super excited to uh, give you this kind of snippet of our season. Um, first of all, it was an amazing season, and I've said this before, um, but of all my, of my four years here, this has been my favorite season. I think people would, would look at the record and say, well, it was, you know, it was probably your toughest season, which it was, but when I played basketball at VCU, my seat in the locker room, just randomly, was across from the other aisle and written on the wall across from my chair for four years in the locker room was written, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And I think that's a, that's a powerful saying that has stuck with me all my life. And if going through tough times is what makes you tougher. And we went through a tough season. Um, I think we grew a lot and I think we made some changes toward the end that made us a, a different team. But I will tell you this, and I've told you players this before, but this season has taught us more about life with the way that, that it went than had we went gone undefeated. We had, we had some really tough times where we had to learn to lean on each other. We had to learn to make changes. We had to learn to sacrifice. Um, we had to learn to show up differently. We, we competed every game and I couldn't be more proud of you guys. Hats off to you parents. We just had, I just had an amazing product to coach out there on the floor. So um, super excited again about this banquet. Love you guys to death and uh, excited about it.